Madison. We'll talk about this. Uh, <laughs> that means it's over after this year. <laughs> you can peek again. Steph, how are you peaking right now? <laughs> no, it's over after this year. Right? Now, in terms of going into this season, it's clear you, you came in with something, I guess, to prove. I don't know. You seem to be playing really well, even on a night like tonight when probably wasn't your best night of the season. You had almost a triple-double. Has something been different? Is it just in the flow and the natural progression to your game? What's changed this year? I mean, I try to get better every year. And Obviously, that's uh, that's the mission. That's what we're all trying to do. Uh, nobody wants to be content in this league. Nobody wants to just be the same player. Um, and you use all the experiences that you had throughout your career to kind of put that formula together. So, um, you know, bless Sam healthy. We've got a great teammates, great organization, great momentum. Um, you know, over the summer that I was able to build off of and. And, uh, and yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Stephen, how do you explain what was going on in that first quarter there, and how did you guys pull out of it? That was that was all my fault, to be honest. Uh, they, the team sees me throwing the ball um, all over the place, trying to take too many chances early in the game, and that's kind of contagious. So um, I kind of set a bad tone in that in that regard. Everything else was great. We were playing solid defense. We were, we did have good possessions, uh, or when we took care of the ball, we were getting good shots. Um, we just had, we had like, I think three boneheaded just plays where I either try to take a chance in transition or got myself trapped uh, with no outlet. And uh, after we figured that out, we uh, we kind of broke the game open. So that's kind of how things go for us. If you know we win the possession game and take care of the basketball, usually our talent takes over. Steph, do you feel like your shot is? Is on yet, or do you still feel like that's a process right now for you? No, I want to shoot better. Um, I mean, I missed some shots tonight. I felt like I could make, but it's a long season, so you don't really get too too high or too low on that. Um, the 82 games, you feel like things are kind of average out, and, and there's gonna be some ups and downs, and um, you just kind of roll with it. But I always have confidence that you know every shot I take is gonna go in, and and uh, gotta rely on that. Omar, you were set back by the ankle uh, sprain at the beginning of the season, but it seemed like you've really uh, gotten into a really good flow right now. And you know, when we watched you come in and have that great game a couple of years ago, we thought, oh, man, this guy's just a shooter. But as we watch you, we see that you just play the total game. You're always cutting, defending, rebounding, looking for the assist, stuff like that. Uh, how much of it a joy to play with a team that you know, kind of embodies that type of total game spirit? Well, I mean, I feel like it's the first time in my career, you know, not to take anything from different teams that I've played in the past, but <clears throat> I feel like the way we play our offense, our defense as well, too. So just, you know, I feel like I'll be able to play just play basketball and not think too much and just play the game. And, uh, you know, I have great guys around, obviously, that take a lot of, a lot of focus and I'm, I'm able to, to cut and do the stuff that, you know, a role player should do. So I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. So want to keep doing and keep going and play hard and just do what I need to do. Omer, was it like getting that MVP chant? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Clay said that you probably thought you were back in Tel Aviv. <laughs> I went to KD after the game and like I said, KD, you holding me back, bro. You <laughs> call <laughs> MVP for me, man. <laughs> 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 I missed the free throw because of that too. I couldn't, I couldn't focus. I'm like, man. The adrenaline rush. It's just fun. Man. Omri, um, Steve Kerr said that he doesn't know how much he's going to play you from game to game. I mean, it's one thing to say, you know, hey, stay ready, but how do you stay ready for a game like this? And when a guy like KD goes down, you come in and just have this seamless performance. Well, it's a lot easier, obviously, tonight uh, when, when you know in the morning that KD didn't go. So it's a lot easier to, to get going. But I mean, like I told Steve, you know, in the summer, and like I tell him every day that, you know, he comes to me and says, hey, you might not, I don't know, like what's going to happen. 
you know that I'll be ready. You know, it's, it's just being a professional and, and being a guy that knows his role in this team. Uh, and whenever he needs me to go out there and bring energy and play hard and do the stuff I do, I'll be ready. And, and he knows that, and I'm happy for that. You know, I take that as a big, you know, pride of myself and, and the team that I'll be ready whenever he needs me. Hey, Steph, it's, it's obviously just one game, but just considering the start and, and different uh, adversities you guys faced to open the season, how did you get to the point today where you guys were able to adjust with Kevin out of the lineup? I mean, the deeper we go into the season, the, uh, the more you, you feel that, that kind of rhythm and um, everybody's kind of comfortable with you know their role and how they're going to impact the game when they're on the floor. And for us, the beginning of the season, it really wasn't anything offensively. It was we, we knew that was going to come around. It was just more the defensive effort and uh, focus, and attention to detail, um, and understanding that once that clicked, you know that we have like a night like tonight, you know, even with with Katie out of the lineup. So um, it's nice to have you know versatile defenders all throughout the lineup. Obviously, what Omri can bring, switching you know one through four, even one through five at times. Um, you know, Nick was amazing on the defensive end tonight. You know, trying to make plays on the ball and just being solid. Um, even Pat doing the same thing. So we mean all throughout the lineup. We have guys out there that are focused on the defensive end, knowing that that's going to fuel our offense and fuel our total game. Then uh, we're, we should be in pretty good shape. Steph, Steve said that um, sometimes when you are down a main guy like like Kevin, it, it can be good for morale and development to see, you know, to see from other guys what what they're going to bring. Uh, and also, what's your thought on that and also how well you guys have played defensively this, this latest stretch? It it keeps everybody uh, alert. It does, uh, I wouldn't say threatens you, it just makes sure you know, you know there's 25 points that you're missing, 25, 26 points that you're missing. And, you know, it's not just going to be one guy stepping in trying to fulfill that role. It's, you got to do it by committee. And, um, Kind of echo what Omri said. It's just uh, when you have the expectation that everybody that steps foot, so, step foot on the floor is going to be a threat and be capable of changing the game for us, and that just gives everybody confidence. Um, and it was nice to see that kind of unfold tonight. Um, and yeah, defensively, we've we've just had longer stretches of, of high intensity and high level of focus. Um, that's allowed us to control the, the momentum of games and the flow of games, and um, you know, especially against a team like like tonight, they have so many individual guys that are so talented that can get put the ball in the basket. But um, you know, five guys helping, communicating, talking, it was a uh, thing of beauty tonight. How much does it help having a guy like Steve, who's you know, throughout his playing career, had to had to deal with Brad at playing time, has been in that role? How much has he helped you with adjusting to that? Well, wow. you know, I can't even, you know, I can't even put it to work, you know, it's just, you know, it's the first time, I don't want to say first time, but, you know, he's been really, you know, how to know how to get to me, you know, personally to my heart, you know, as a player that, you know, you come into a team that obviously won the championships and, and <clears throat> you know what you're getting into, uh, it's really important for me, you know, just as an individual, uh, that you have that relationship with your coach and, and I feel like he's really good to my heart, so. You know, he keeps me going, and, and you know, it's um, he's a, a very special human being. You guys know that, so I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this uh, very much. Why are you sweating? It's hot in here. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting three block oh. shots tonight. It's a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> career high. Right, career high. Yeah. Ask him how it feels to be in the hacking club. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell out in the. In the yeah, you know, way too, you know, don't get too close to me. <laughs> I can take you to the kitchen to one near the other. Man, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you got to save your money on this. Is that it?